Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I wanted to get this video up on New Year's Day because I wanted to share with you guys our 2017 goals and plans. All this is gonna be for the new year and throughout this coming year. We do not really set like resolutions or anything like that for New Year's, but I do like to go back and really look and reevaluate our finances and personal goals things like that um, not really set resolutions but kind of just look and plan and just make some goals and things that more of the long range type so we have seven goals and plans for the next year um, some of these are finance goals and some of them are just some personal goals so I wanted to go with the over these seven with you so to get started number one um, this is one that I've been wanting to do for a while and I definitely want to do this this year in 2017 is switch the savings that we have right now that's just in a regular bank and switch it over to a Capital One 360 account because we are only earning a small amount of interest. So I want to move everything over to Capital One 360 so we can start earning more interest. Right now we're only earning maybe like 28 cents of interest. Um, and it could be a lot more than that if we had it in a different bank account. So that is something that is definitely going to be a goal. And this is something I want to do really soon into the new year and not wait too long. And I also plan on opening up a vacation account as like a sinking fund and have that in Capital One 360 as well. So we can just make some money off the interest of our money that's going to be sitting there anyways. So that is one goal. Um, and as far as sinking funds go, we really don't have sinking funds. It's not really something that we use so much. Um, but for vacation, that is an account that I'd like to use as a sinking fund because it is a larger expense. Um, otherwise, our savings account is pretty well funded. It's actually above what, our, what we want as far as the minimum. So as long as we keep it a little bit above, it's okay when there's little things that come up and we do have to take money out of there and we will replenish that. But with a bigger expense like a vacation, or if we're planning for a new vehicle, um, we would start saving a little bit more, maybe into a sinking fund account. So number two a goal for the year is going to be to max out the IRA. Um, I do not have a 401k. I haven't had one for a while. The only time I had a 401k was several years ago when the job that I was working at provided one and they did a company match. So I did do a match for the 401k and then once I left that company, I rolled everything over into an IRA and since then I have not had um, a job that offered 401k. I had been self-employed and now I'm just part-time. So all I have is my IRA and I want to really make that a priority to start putting money in there um, and save for retirement. So that's something I haven't really been doing. I've been just kind of letting it sit there and it does accumulate some money, but it could be doing a lot faster if I started contributing to it monthly and yearly. So for 2017, a big goal is to max out my IRA. Our third goal for 2017 is at some point is to purchase a new vehicle. Um, right now we have a 2008 Ford Escape and it is getting very high in miles. So we know it's probably going to be soon, it's probably gonna be time to change that out and to get a new vehicle. Um, and we've really been looking at a Prius. Uh, the reasons for that is just because of the size of it is still decent for us, for what we need, and it is really good on gas. Um, we do a lot of driving. Uh, we like to travel a lot, so. That is something that would be really nice to have something that's a little bit better on gas, even though our Ford Escape for the size of it is a four cylinder, so it's not terrible on gas, but it could be better. Um, so that is a goal that we would like to do at some point in 2017, probably not in the near future of it, but later on that year. And we might do a sinking fund to start saving up a little bit towards that purchase. So our fourth goal for 2017 is going to be kind of to restructure and redo our budget. Um, how we always had had it before was a pen and paper. And then the last few monthly budget reviews that you guys have seen have actually been on my iPad on Excel. And I really like that um, so much better than just the paper and pen. Um, it's worked out better for me and it's making me look at it a little bit more than I was. So I really want to kind of restructure the budget on Excel and really kind of change it around and play with it and use it a little bit more um, to make it a little bit more structured. 
So you guys will see in my next, um, for December, in my next monthly budget review in December, for December, will be the new kind of style and layout that I'm going to do, but it's not going to be completely done. It's still something that I need to work on for the new year as well and just kind of see what really works so that way I can start really looking at it. A bad habit of mine is not to check our budget throughout the month. But instead, I make a really good budget and then I never look at it. So that is something I really want to change in 2017 and start to look at it throughout the month, at least mid-month. So that is definitely a goal is to really kind of reevaluate and restructure the budget um, and then just start really looking at it every month, mid-month and throughout. A fifth goal for 2017 is to continue to meal plan. This is more of a personal goal, not really a finance goal, um, but we want to continue meal planning. Meal planning is something that I started pretty much when I started my channel. Before then, we were eating pretty much just frozen meals and things that we shouldn't be eating every single night. That was more convenient than anything. Um, and then we decided to try meal planning and to give it a go and see how it is and I thought it would be more expensive but it really hasn't been we've been able to still stay in our budget so this is something that we want to continue my husband enjoys it he likes trying the new recipes I like making and the new recipes I really found out that I love to cook so this is something that we're going to continue throughout 2017 so you will still keep seeing my weekly meal plans and um, you will see all of that continue throughout the year because it's something that we've really realized that we enjoy and it's a lot healthier and it's not any more expensive. So that is something we're going to continue. Number six is also kind of just a personal goal. And this is something that um, I just discovered when I started doing YouTube a few months ago. I actually really realized that I enjoy it. I enjoy making the videos. It's a nice hobby. And I like something to look back on, especially at my vlogs. And that's something I really want to continue is doing vlogging because that's something I really have enjoyed doing. And even when I'm editing it, I'm laughing and I'm enjoying it and it's fun to do. And I want to have those memories. So I really realized that I do like YouTube. I like filming and I like coming up with um, content for you guys to watch. And it's just been really fun. So in 2017, I want to continue with YouTube, staying on track weekly and producing content and videos every week and also hoping to grow my channel. Um, it has been growing. Of course, I've just recently started and I love meeting everybody who comments and I love commenting back and talking to you guys and getting feedback and anything like that. So that is something I've really enjoyed. I like the social aspect and I just really like it for the memories and I like it for just a hobby and just something fun that I enjoy doing. So that is something I want to continue in 2017. And number seven, our last plan, this is more of a plan than a goal, but is to become Disney pass holders. I have been so excited to go to Disney since we moved here to Florida and I cannot wait to go. Our plan is to get Disney passes in 2017. Um, we might start putting some money towards that now, um, but, but we definitely are going to do it. I just don't know when yet. Uh, hopefully it will be in the next few months. But once I start doing that, I am definitely on our first visit for sure. I am going to vlog that because that'll be really kind of special for to watch later on for my husband and I to see and we're both really excited to do that and to have those passes and to have those memories that we can make there at Disney. So um, that is just one of our plans, not really so much a goal, but is a plan that we do want to do that and is kind of a financial plan too because we know we're going to kind of save up some money for that to put back to buy those passes. So that is my 2017 goals and plans. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know kind of where we're at and what we're wanting to do in the new year, both financially and just some plans and fun things that we have in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me know what one of your goals is for 2017 um, or just a fun plan that you have for the new year. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys again soon in the next video. Bye!